Welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to the Boxing Bookie. We got the big one for you today. We're going to break down the weekend's big fight for you, show you how to make some money on Alexis Rocha and Giovanni Santiago. I think it's the biggest fight of the weekend. I can't think of one that's bigger. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. He's going to give you the odds, show you how to bring down the house. The boxing odds makers don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money if you follow me consistently. Um, all right. Also, please subscribe to uh, Texas uh, Boxing Scene. That's uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into this fight. Giovanni Santion, I was surprised the odds were wide as they are, but the, the, you know, ultimately they get their winner right. I, I thought Santion was pretty hyped by top rank. They put a lot of the fights on the main card. They give you, they expose them uh, to you. They give you a lot of exposure. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, they get a lot of exposure, and uh, he's undefeated, right? And people like that. I, I I get he's 31 years old, so you can't call him a prospect or anything like that. He's been around for a long time. He helped Tim Bradley <clears throat> get ready for Manny Pacquiao. That's how long he's been around. Um, he's left-handed. Um, he, they say he used to fight off the back, back foot. He's terrible off the back foot. I, I don't see the big deal about Santion. Now he comes forward. He's a pressure fighter. He throws a lot. He's got a pretty good gas tank. He cuts off the ring pretty good. His footwork's pretty good. Um, he, he, he's not very fast. He's not, you know, he's not super speedy. Um, he's not Rossidi Ellis is what I'm trying to say. He's not uh, a big hitter at all. Um, you look at his last couple of fights, uh, Six of his last seven fights have gone the distance. The one was a seventh round knockout that didn't go the distance. Other, other than that, uh, he basically goes to this. Hang on. Decker! Can you take Dax into uh, Mind Control Giant Record? He's got the remote and uh, his Kindle. Like I said, uh, you know, Santa Ana's not a big puncher. There's not anything he does really particularly well, like, like, like extraordinary. Um, like I said, his footwork is good, and he throws a lot of volume. But he can be out jabbed, right? He's a southpaw. He, he throws a lot of right hooks, lead right hooks, head and body. He mixes up stuff well. He throws well in combination. Uh, but there's nothing exceptional about him, right? And uh, he can be out jabbed. Like if he wants, they say he used to fight up the back foot. I, I can't see that at all. Um, he's been around for a long time. Like I said, um, he was brought in for uh, Bradley. To get ready for Manny Pacquiao. That's how long this guy's been around. He's not young. It's not really fair to call him a prospect because he's 31. Uh, you know, I, I don't see why top rank keeps pushing him like this. Uh, top rank put him in front of you a lot, and I, I don't see any reason why, really. I don't I like what, what's you, you like him. What's so good about him? Um, and it's not, he's not bad. You know, if you look at his resume, he's been protected for a reason, right? Like his best opponent is Eric Bonet. And he's been given life and death with guys like Eric Bonet and uh, uh, what, what, what was the other one's name? Uh, Julio Luna. Guys like that give him life and death. So it stands to reason like a guy, a guy like Roach is big and strong and powerful and has a resume. And I'm not saying, you know, Roach's resume is the best, but it's much better. And, and, and he's proven himself and he stopped guys like that and beat the snot out of guys like that. So I think this is, I don't want to say light work for Roach, but it lines up really, really well for Roach. Uh, this guy is going to come out, Rocha, and if he doesn't, and he's a terrible boxer from the long range. He gets hit with the jab. Uh, I'm talking about Santana. He gets hit with the jab so much. Um, and he, when he comes in, he's going to just eat right hand. He eats a lot of shots. There's not a ton of head movement. Um, you know, he likes to start fast, but so does Rocha. Um, you know, I'm kind of leaning that Rocha stops him. It's just a matter of when. Um, but I just think that the style, you know, it, Realistically, he's going to get beat down, and we're going to get into that. I mean, you look at his resume. He's been protected for a reason. Like, 
he doesn't have anything close to his resume like um, Rocha has. Rocha has wins over Black Cobbs. Rocha fought Speedy Ellis. Um, he's got a win over Brad Solomon. And I'm not saying – that was when Brad Solomon was 28-2 and two at that point. Um, that win set him up for the Ellis fight. I'm not saying that Brad Solomon is, is the best thing in the world, but that was, you know, three and a half going on four years ago um, when he fought Brad Solomon. Um, and, and, and Brad Solomon, I would say, is at least equivalent to where Giovanni Santion is, right? Um, you know, I, I guess Santion probably beats that version of Brad Solomon, but it's close. That, that version of Brad Solomon really wasn't all that bad. Uh, and Santion's not all that bad. He's just not that good. So, and, and 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 that's the issue. He's not that good, uh, and I think Alexis Rose is very good. So that let's let's bring in the, the odds. Uh, let's take a look at the odds. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to make money on this. All right. So the Alexis Rocha, I just way too low. minus six fifty. I thought it was gonna be like minus four fifty, minus four twenty five in that range. Minus six fifty is huge. What they're saying is he's basically a six and a half to one favorite. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. And, and he's going to win. And I just thought Santiago would get better odds. He's a four to one dog. He's plus 400. He's going to lose. Do not take that bait. So here's what I like. Take the overall rounds. Take the, it, it's paying minus 340. Okay. And here's why. I'm going to hedge this. I'm going to hedge this um, with a two times bet on uh, Rocha by KO. All right. Both these are paying. You know, it going over 10 and a half really pays. And, and that's why I'm telling you to do it. So if I'm, look, there, there's two possibilities that this fight ends Rocha by knockout, Rocha by points. You know, uh, Rocha has stopped guys inside the distance uh, in, in his last seven fights. Um, Santiago has gone the distance six. Santiago goes, but he hasn't fought anyone like this. Um, Roach has gone the distance with guys <clears throat> like Luis Alberto uh, Veron. Uh, he's gone the distance with Jose Antonio Perez Campos. Um, but recently he, he's put, a, you know, Ashy and, and Young and, and Cobbs, he's put together a lot of knockouts. Um, so I think he's gonna knock him out. You know, the best case there, and, the, and there's three ways that we can, we can make money. That's right. We're going to make money either because Roach is going to win the fight. Okay. Roach is going to win the fight. If it goes over 10 and a half rounds, um, it's just paying a, a one times bet. A $100 bet is paying you one twenty nine forty one. Okay. You might have to lose that. But here's why. If Alexis Rocha wins by KO or TKO or DQ, um, you get two hundred and fifty dollars on a one times bet. That's two fifty on a one times bet. And honestly, that that may be smart to two times bet that, right? Um, we're not going to do that here, but it may make a lot of sense, right? Because look, the, just betting on Rocher, a one times bet on Rocher is going to win you fifteen dollars on a hundred dollar bet. That's not great, okay? That's not where we're making money. So now, how is he going to win? Well. If he goes the distance and, and wins the decision, you make 129.41. You get your money back, basically, right? You're not losing too much. I think he's gonna stop him. I really do, right? <clears throat> so when you stop him, when he does stop him, you're gonna win 250. You're gonna win 100 and 250. So here, here, here here's the three options that we have. Um you bet Rocha to win, but Rocha wins by TKO in the 11th or 12th. You're going to win uh, $300 on a, on a $300 bet. You walk away with $600. Okay? It's the best case scenario. He wins by knockout before the middle of the 11th round. You lose the 100, you make 150, and, and you make 165. He he wins a decision, you lose a couple bucks, right? But you've hedged your losses. You've hedged your losses, right? Um, so 
Rocha by TKO. Let's hedge it a little bit with the 10 and a half. Um, if he wins 10 and a half, you still do okay. You make 250, 265, 165, right? So it's still a solid bet, right? And and you've hedged yourself. If you if he wins a decision, you get your money back. All right. So those are your options. Um, this is a decent fight to make money on if you hedge it. And guys, you have to be smart. You can't you, you gotta hedge your bet sometimes, right? Like there's a very good chance that Rocha stops him. There's also a chance, I would say less of a chance, that Santiago Sabatin goes the distance. So you got to be prepared for that. All right, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie in all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every uh, – uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for – that's the old show. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every uh, major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. Again, we don't gamble. You can't gamble on DraftKings in Texas. I use DraftKings for almost all of my books. Um, but if you do and you want to make money consistently, I'm going to show you how to do it. Follow the Boxing Bookie. All right. Uh, it is October 20th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.